You are absolutely going to love this gaming computer. It's built from the ground up to give you everything you need for 1080p and 1440p gaming. In fact, this superb little super PC can handle everything, and all without breaking the bank. I'm going to show you everything you need to create your own do-it-all gaming PC, as well as go through all of the parts that we have here, what I like, what I don't like, and hopefully give you some inspiration for your next gaming computer. Let me know your thoughts as we go through in the comment section below. But if you are in the market for a new computer, you'll be very glad to know that this video is sponsored by ASUS and their awesome graphics card trade-in program. If you've got your eye on a shiny new GPU, it's never been so easy to upgrade your gaming arsenal. Simply find an ASUS graphics card that takes your fancy, use their handy dandy trade-up tool to see what your current GPU is worth, purchase your new graphics card from a qualifying retailer, and then send in your old card and get paid. It's super easy, simply hit the link in the description below. But do hurry, this offer ends on the 30th of August, so you better be fast. First up, it's the processor, the Ryzen 5 3600X. This 6-core chip may not be expensive, but it doesn't stop it punching well above its weight for performance. AMD sent this out last month, and it's a perfect platform for gamers that want to do it all, as it will happily chug along for ultra gaming and allow you to multitask while doing so. If you're someone that wants a great gaming PC but want it to be able to do everything as well, then this is the way to do it without breaking the bank. The same can be said for the cooler, the Hyper 212 Black RGB. I asked Cooler Master to send us this, as it's a fan favourite, and for very good reason. It allows you to not only get fabulous cooling performance and overclocking headroom, but it also makes your PC look a whole lot brighter. All while not ruining the aesthetics with something that's very oversized, ugly, and just generally not that appealing. All of this is to sit upon ASRock's X570 Tai Chi, a fully kitted out motherboard that simply looks stunning. AMD provided this in my Ryzen review kit, and there's a load of headers for USB and RGB, alongside support for PCIe 4, USB-C, and of course the next generation of Wi-Fi. So all of this really does make it a great platform that you'll be able to build upon and then upgrade over the coming years. But it definitely is a bit of a bummer that all of these boards seem to be so expensive. Currently the cheapest one is around about £175, obviously with less features and not quite so built up. It's a shame that you have to choose between a board that's probably a bit too expensive for what you want to spend, versus an older generation board that you might have to buy us update before you can use it, and of course forgoes all of these modern features and one of the reasons you might be buying one of these processors. So it's up to you which way you want to go, unless you want to wait a few months for the next generation of B-series motherboards that I guess might be a bit of a sweet spot. Ryzen really loves fast RAM to properly work its magic, and the kit that I have here was supplied by XPG, and it's their brand new Spectrix D60G. Running at a blisteringly fast speed of 3600MHz, this bright and shiny memory kit is exactly what we need for not only a sparkly system, but a responsive one too. I've enabled the XMP profiles directly through the ASRock board, and 16GB of memory has been great for everything I've thrown its way. But now for the really exciting bit, the graphics card. And for this, we've gone for something a little bit super. Zotac has loaned out their 2060 Mini card for this build, which neatly slots into the PC without a hint of fuss. It's pretty neutral in its colour scheme, so it will work with any theme, but it's a real corker for performance, hitting the right sweet spot for gamers that want ultra settings but without dropping crazy money. I'll be showing full benchmarks a little bit later in this video, but if you're wanting to do all but 4K gaming, I really think that this is all the cards you're going to need for a cracking gaming experience. Now for storage, we're frankly going for the sensible option, the highest capacity SATA SSD that you can justify. I'd suggest the 1TB option, as it's going to have enough room for all the games that you can actively play at once, though 500GB and a spinning hard drive is also a great option if you already have an existing and rather large game library. The one that we have here is Samsung's 860 EVO, provided by Samsung last week, and it's another popular choice for gaming PCs, as it's all you're ever really going to need for super fast booting and then game load speeds. The final piece of the puzzle is the power supply, the MWE Gold 650 Watt, sent out by Cooler Master especially for this build. It's never the most thrilling part of any PC, but it's an important one nonetheless, 
With a fully modular design and gold efficiency rating, we firmly have all the bases covered. 650 watts should be enough for all but the most extreme of upgrade paths, and the jet black cables do look pretty smart too. I just wish that they'd actually rounded off the corners a little bit on the plugs when you plugged it into the power supply, as I found that they were a little bit on the sharp side, and while I didn't cut myself putting this build together, I can certainly see it happening when I'm taking it apart. So, a little bit of feedback there for you, Cooler Master, just put a little bit more thought maybe into us not cutting our thumbs. The build process for this was actually so simple, it was done in just over an hour. And this was mostly because of the case, NZXT's H510i. Now this thing was sent out for review, and it's actually really smart, being exactly what we wanted for this build, as it fits my ethos perfectly. You see, while the case could definitely benefit from a couple of extra fans, you're actually able to utilise some pretty standout features here, whether it's USB-C on the front panel, Smart Hub for software fan control, or the built-in RGB lighting nodes. Everything is created with such care and thoughtfulness, building and cable management is so easy, and this is all while having a PC that looks hands down magnificent. While the case will of course play especially nicely with NZXT's Air RGB fans, I'd actually suggest grabbing some more Cooler Master spinners to match the CPU tower, and then control the lighting with the motherboard. Otherwise, you'd probably be better off looking at the H510 Elite, as you not only get RGB fans included as standard, but you can then see them, as the front panel is made of glass. All in all, this really is a fantastic PC, and while in some ways it's slightly incomplete, it's got everything you need to get yourself started with no compromise. All the performance is here, there's just a few visual upgrades I think that you could do to make it even better. But you're probably wondering about performance, and in this department, well, it's certainly no slouch. While you can of course go out and grab an 8 or 12 core chip for even higher potential, our gaming needs just don't really need any more than 6, and this system excels at 1080p and 1440p gaming. Ultra settings just really isn't an issue for this beast as not only did every title I test run super smoothly, but it clearly shows that there's actually a fair bit left in the tank if you want to run a high refresh rate monitor. I think that as long as you're not planning on running 4K at max settings, you're actually going to be very pleased, and realistically, a 1440p screen or an ultra wide is such a step up over Full HD, you're really not missing out on that much anyway. No, what you're going to be getting is super slick performance in the most popular and most demanding AAA games, that will keep you in love with PC gaming for many years to come. There are definitely a couple of tweaks that I think I would make to this system if I was going to make it my own, most notably really just removing the back two fans and then replacing them with a set of matching RGB, as this will not only make it look better, but it will actually give you better performance, better airflow, and it should make it slightly quieter as well, as those back two fans were slightly too loud, so I've actually turned them off uh, for filming this. But all in all, I think this is the least flawed system I've put together in a long, long time. It's the perfect platform that you can build upon, and until you actually need to make any upgrades, there's very little that I think is wrong with it. It's just fantastic. It's great for gaming, it's great for any sort of performance tasks, and it's just a great computer. If you are interested in current pricing on any of these parts featured, you can find them all listed down below with my affiliate links, and of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the ASUS trade-up program, because if you've been itching to get that upgrade sorted, now is actually the perfect time. We not only have a fantastic selection of cutting-edge graphics cards to choose from, but an awesome solution to make the upgrade process easier than ever. Upgrade your 1050 Ti to a 2060 Super, for instance, and you'll actually get £105 for your old card. Really not too shabby, but do be quick as this offer ends on the 30th of August, so get in there while you can. A massive thank you to you guys for checking out this video. Let me know all of your thoughts on this video, on the PC, down in that comment section below. What do you want me to see covered next? A budget build, a high-end build, Ryzen 9? Do let me know, and of course hit that like button. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. It really does help out so, so much you wouldn't believe. Helps to actually make these things possible, believe it or not. Not even a word of lie. Do subscribe as well for more builds just like this and of course some setups coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.